Imagine freedom. Imagine the world as you know it is yours to control. Imagine being the expert at something that has unlimited financial potential. Imagine your life changing with a click of a button. Imagine every day can be a lotto ticket. And imagine you can do this from anywhere in the world. Imagine Ayanti. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Weekly Watchlist with The Chartist. My name is Q and I am also the founder of Ayanti Trading. Ionti Trading is a company that inspires people to day trade and teaches people how to day trade properly. Our main goal is to teach people how to trade successfully and profitably consistently. Every week we try to post a video and a watch list. Our watch list gets posted on Sunday evening and the following Saturday we post a video that reviews exactly what happened to the stocks in the watch list during the week. The reason why we do this is to teach you how you could have traded the stocks on our watch list and hopefully with enough videos you learn how to trade stocks on your own and find stocks on your own. Now I won't be revealing how I find my stocks every week but a lot of them have been successful for the previous episodes if you have been watching. The first stock on our watch list this week is VFF, the second is UBX, then CLVS, CSLT and finally CRK. I don't know what any of those companies do, quite frankly. However, I love the way their patterns look based on last Friday. I've already got UBX pulled up on Thinkorswim. Let's see how that stock performed after we posted it. We had posted the stock to break out at $9.50. So we had set our alert at $9.50. I don't know why I started with the second stock, but I won't be jumping around too often. But we posted that the stock has a resistance point of $9.50. So before I go on any further, we want to figure out why I posted the $9.50 resistance point. You may need to zoom out of your chart for you to see the full picture. So let's go ahead and go to the 20 day one hour. The stock had been resisting at $9.50 since June 21st. So on June 21st, the stock reached the $9.50 mark. However, it did not break above it. So that means we have a resistance point at that point. Considering that it's the most recent highest resistance point, we would set an alert at $9.50. So if we zoom back into the five day 15 minute, what do we see? We see the stock close with a very strong bullish candle on the 28th, which was a Friday at $9.46. A very promising sign considering that entire bar of volume. So we anticipated the stock will be making a massive move the next day, which it did. The stock broke out at $9.50 and it actually started the day at $9.57, giving us an entry point. We could have entered the stock anywhere within this candle, but the only thing that was not promising was the actual volume on this candle. Notice how there's not strong bullish volume on this candle. So that wasn't a good sign, but if you were to enter this trade, you would have set a stop loss or I would have set a, set a stop loss at $9.50 to play it safe and then watch the stock go up. And if it does break our stop loss, oh well, it's a loss. We can take it and run. However, the stock did not reach the stop loss quite yet in the morning. The stock went all the way up to $10.20. Now, if we zoom into the five minute candles, you can clearly tell that this candle was telling you to sell. So after this huge spike in the bullish activity, this candle came along and that long wick at the top is a clear sign of bearish activity. If you're not familiar with how candlesticks are red, I suggest you take our day trading course. We'll teach you all about them. It's available at iontitrading.com. By the way, don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying the content of this video. Now, like we mentioned earlier, this long wick at the top indicates bearish activity. So the bearish pushed it down as soon as it reached $10.20, which now gives us our next resistance point. However, clearly we needed to sell out of the stock. Things were not looking too good. Therefore, I would have exited the stock as soon as I saw this candle at $10 and 10 let's call it. So that's still about a 60 cent profit that you could have walked away with. A very impressive move by this stock. Um, what an awesome stock to have on a watch list. How successful was that? I hope people actually made profit while watching the stock. Now let's move on to the next stock, which is actually VFF. So let's see what VFF did. 
I remember posting the stock only because I read a news article, although that goes against what I believe in in terms of reading the chart. I read a news article and based it off of that because they were doing some crazy hemp expansion in Texas, but the stock did not break out. So this was a disappointing post. The stocks kept resisting at 1179, even the next day after we posted it. So we posted it on the 28th, the following Monday, the stock did indeed go to the 1179 mark. However, it clearly got resisted again, making this a very strong resistance point. So if you wanna keep the stock on your watch list, you would set that 1179 high resistance point point and wait for the stock to break out because once it does break out given the fact that it was resisted multiple times at 1179 the breakout will be even more bullish so keep an eye out on this stock i'm not going to go further into detail so in this next stock we had our alert set at 15 dollars 16 we don't know why based off the five day movement but let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and let's go to the 10 day movement of the stock now the most recent resistance that the stock had had was on the 28th which was the friday after we read the stock at fifteen dollars and ten cents or fifteen dollars and nine cents however if we go back further before this kind of u got formed the stock had resisted previously at fifteen dollars and fifteen cents on this red candle right over here when the stock tried to push up however it got rejected and pulled back down this was back on june 24th the stock so sort of formed this little U right over here, trying to break above, in which it successfully did within the five days that we called the stock. So if we zoom in to the first of the month, which was just a day, technically, it's one trading day after we called it out, the stock had resisted at $15.16, as you can clearly see in this consolidation. And then finally, when it broke above, the stock had rallied. So this would have been a perfect entry if you just entered the stock on this bullish candle right over here, because this was the candle that put it over $15.16, and you could have put a stop loss at $15.10 and the stock would have rallied and you would have made about 28 cents on the high. Now, why would we have sold here? I honestly would have sold on this red candle right over here because what this was, this had enough volume to indicate that it's a good time to sell. But if you want it to be a little more risky and hold the candle, the stock could have been uh, rejected at 1544 right over here and this would have been a good selling point because of that long wick at the top. So that would cover CLVS, not a bad move, a 28 cent move by the stock very promising let's go ahead and move on to c s l t so on c s l t the stock did not break out it looks like the stock's mark was at three dollars and thirty cents that's where he had set it at however the stock never made it above so a disappointing move for the stock so we'll keep this on our watch list see if it breaks above that 330 mark because i do like what i see still i'm not going to go further into detail on this one so in this case, I'm going to go to our last and final stock, which was CRK. Let's see what CRK did. All right, cool. CRK actually went all the way to $6.59. Where did we have our alert? At $5.68. Wow, that is very impressive. That's a 90 cent move, guys, on a penny stock. 90 cents is crazy on a penny stock. Look at all that volume. So we called the stock out on the 28th, which was a Friday, and we had set our alert at $5.68. The reason why we had set that alert was, let's see why, let's zoom out to the 10 day. It looks like on the 28th, the stock had resisted around that area. If we zoom in, the stock had resisted at $15.61. So we actually gave us some breathing room. We had set our alert a little bit higher. And as you can see, the very next day, let me zoom into the five day, so we called it out right over here. The very next day, the stock completely rallied. It's a very impressive move. Let's see, right at the beginning of the day, you could have entered the stock. Beautiful bullish signs that are coming with a lot of volume. So you could have entered the stock safely and actually just put your stop loss around $5.69 and just held on to the stock while you watch those bullish candles soar through the chart. So it's a very impressive move from the stock, $6.59, that was its closing uh, high. So the stock made it up 90 cents, believe it or not. You could have made a lot of money on this stock. I hope people watched it and I hope they made a lot of money off of it. Why would you have sold the stock? Was because of the volume slowing down. So notice how volume start, started slowing down for the bulls. The RSI started reading very high and then you get this series of uh, red candles very clear sign that the bears are kicking in 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We covered five stocks. Three of the stocks broke out. Two did not. Not a bad closing rate. That's 60% of the stocks, so still winning. Um, anyways, if you did like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. If you can follow us on Instagram, that would be fantastic. It's Ionti Trading. Visit our website, iontitrading.com. Again, this is Q, a.k.a. The Chartist. Have a great trading week.